In our last episode, we talked about how Indiana switched from voice voting to paper ballots. Indiana implements paper ballots. Secrecy restored. Problem solved. Not quite. These ballots were not printed by the government. Instead, they were printed by political parties, individuals, and whoever. So anyone printing a ballot could cut and paste candidates to put on the ballot. So essentially, these were a candidate collage, if you will. Different political parties would print ballots on distinctive colored paper. Party A might choose a dark green colored paper, and Party B might choose a bright yellow colored paper. So if you walked in to cast your secret ballot with a yellow piece of paper, it was likely you were voting for the candidates of Party B. The election of 1888 was a national scandal because of massive vote fraud by both parties. This prompted the outgoing governor and incoming governor to propose election reform. One of those changes was the adoption of the Australian ballot, a government printed uniform ballot printed on opaque paper to ensure the secrecy of the ballot. Indiana was the second state to implement this, and since then, Indiana has been using opaque government printed ballots. And that has been this week's Monday with Mac. See you here next week. Thank you.